your training, you said bench press is one of your weakest things. How have you improved? Do you think that you got to the point you wanted to be at? Um, I got 18 today. That's still not where I want to be. And I got super long arms, so it's kind of hard to, uh, to you know, try to build muscle like that. So um, I'm just keep working at it. But right now, it's, it's not really about the combine drills or all these kind of drills. It's trying to get back in football shape. What have you heard from NFL teams? Have they, have they talked to you or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, what as far as what? Where you're going or what teams you have talked to? Um, well, I've talked to just about every team, especially at the Combine. And, um, you know, I've heard things from bottom of the first round to the fifth round. So I've heard, you know, everything in between. So, yeah, I guess we'll just see uh, when the time comes. Based off that information, how do you feel? Like, have you improved or, or that's Well, I definitely think I improved. Um, at the Combine, I think I did well. And I, I was able to skip some guys and, you know, try to, you know, get, uh, you know, in the light of some of these scouts. So. I think I did well, but uh, the main focus was coming out here and being able yeah. to perform better than I did at the combine. How, how has this process been for you as far as stress levels and things like that go? Well, it's not real stressful because uh, you know this is at the end of the day it's still football, so this is what we, which is what everybody on this team does twenty four seven. So uh, there's nothing new. You just got a little bit more cameras and you know more eyes watching. And uh, that might cause stress for some people, but you know I just look at it as another day. What was the first moment when you realized, yeah, this is absolutely a business? Um, I don't think I've had that NFL experience yet, uh, just yet. But I know it's it's, it's really cutthroat. Um, I know you know I've talked to guys like from here, from other teams that uh, played in the NFL, and you know they, we've heard the horror stories about how cutthroat it is. So, um, like I said, that's all I just want to come out here and perform, and you know show them what I could do. Guys, obviously you've had you know, the history with your condition and that kind of thing that mm -hmm. caused the problems in high school. You had to answer a lot of questions about that. Like <laughs> that how, how concerned are teams about Yeah, uh, teams are, I'm not sure how concerned, but the questions do come up. So um, I, I think it's just fun for me just to be able to tell my story, you know, all the things that I went through. Um, you know, it just shows, you know, the integrity that I have, the push that I have um, to go through something like that and to get on, make it to the collegiate level and be able to perform. perform. So um, it was pretty fun answering the questions that they had because it was so uncommon. And it's so rare that, you know, a lot of people had a lot of questions. So um, just getting them informed about what happened and what it was, it was pretty cool. What was the reaction that you got when you told the story? Um, confusion. <laughs> so a lot of guys, like I said, had never heard of it before. And, um, you know, so they were wondering how the diagnosis went. And, you know, when I met with the team doctors, they were wondering how I was keeping it down, whether it was coming back or not. So, um, you know, a lot of people had a bunch of different questions. but. I can only answer what I can answer. I only really know so much about it. What was for the, for NFL fans who who are learning your story now? Mm -hmm. What what was the hardest moment for you? Looking um, looking back, I think it was having to learn to walk again. And it, you know, it sounds it sounds so simple, just walking. But um, you know, when I lost the ability to walk and had to relearn that and uh, go through that pain and everything like that, I think that was definitely the hardest part because, like I said, it's something you know you do. <laughs> that's one of the first things you do is start to walk. So. Uh, having to relearn how to do that at 16 was probably the hardest part. Do you have a doctor for teams to contact to have more questions about this? Oh, yeah, uh, her name is Dr. Jonas. She's a uh, rheumatologist in Chapel Hill, right up the road. Among the teams that you spoke with, like, did every team bring that up? Were they all curious? About 100 percent. Every every single team wanted to, to hear more about it. What's your go ahead? No. What's your plan now? From now until now. <laughs> now it's just to train and try to get back in football shape. You know, not really worry about all these drills and everything. But now it's back to taking on blocks and double teams and rushing the passes. So, uh, doing more drills like that and just being in the weight room. Are you in Chapel Hill or? Yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be in Chapel Hill with the staff here. I won't go back to Florida or anything. You you have a tie to the Ronald McDonald House, right? Mm -hmm. um, how often do you do you go back there, and what do you remember about those days? Um. So while I was in school, we went back every Monday. Um, that was our community service day, so uh, you know, I would take a group of guys and we would help clean up and do everything like that. But um, I really haven't had a chance to go back ever since um, you know, I started training and everything. But now that this big event is over and I'll have some more free time, I'll probably get back out there to, um, to the Ronald McDonald House. Dude, yeah. what, is, what does that place mean to you looking back? It means everything because that's where I did all my therapy. At, and um, so for me to have went through the hardest part of my life in that house, and to go back in this position where I am to, you know, going on to the NFL, to be in this position is just, you know, an amazing feeling. So that's why I always like to go back to see where I came from. It, it keeps me humble. Let me know um, all the hardships that I went through there. Now, where were you training in Florida? Uh, Boca Raton. So I was uh, at the gym called XPE, and my head trainer was Tony Galani. And who's your agent? Uh, Pat Dodd Jr. As you have gone through this process, not only the drills, but looking back at what you put on film in three years here, 
you feel a sense of validation for the coaching and development that you got in Chapel Hill? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, uh, you know, I didn't make a, a, a lot of huge plays, so I was kind of under the radar. Um, but I, I, I just did what my coaches asked me to do. I did my job, and um, so they can, when they see, when they come on the film, they'll definitely be able to see that. They'll be able to see my length and in the inside and playmaking ability. So um, I'm pretty sure some team will fall in love with that and you know pick me and call my name. Sorry for the stupid question, but how do you how do you keep the, the pain from coming back? Um, I'm on a medicine called Embro, so it's like a, a anti-inflammatory arthritis shot, and so I inject myself once a week, and that's how I keep it down. And do you feel no pain? Perfect. Fine. Yep, I haven't had any problems with this since uh, my junior year in high school when all this stuff went down. So. Um, yeah, that's just basically how I maintain it. What, what, what was the feeling when you got to 100% back in high school when you came all the way from not being able to walk to? Well, it, it took a while, but, you know, and I, and I never really realized when I was 100%. I know I was just giving it everything I got, whether it was my 65 or my 85 or 100. Um, I was just happy to be out there with my teammates again, being able to play, being around them instead of in a, in a hospital. It was more joy that I could ever have than worry about, you know, being 100%. It was just out there being with those guys again. Pretty good.